Real people. Real conversation. Real, Real talk. talk. A couple of weeks ago, this uh, Japanese guy from London, I think it was on Psychology Today, did an yeah. article and he said, black women are ugly. For some reason, yeah. they're physically more right. unattractive than Asians, Europeans, and any other nationality that you want to mix into it. But how did that article strike you, not only as a black woman, but as a woman that takes care of herself mm -hmm. in that physical fitness manner? I remember we had a conversation yeah. leaving church the other day when you was like, I'm trying to put on some weight because you know the brothers <laughs> like a little bit of a don't the don't, you know. I don't want to all that. But yeah, I definitely am trying to get back to where I was before. Um, not that I look bad for the show or anything, but I know a lot of guys, you know, think it's a little bit too intimidating when you are muscular or, you know, they might think that you're more muscular than them. So I'm going to be real. I saw the picture. You look like you were going to beat my ass. No, I, I didn't. That line. I'm saying, but no. I'm mean, still having curves, so making sure I eat and get those <laughs> curves back right where they need to be. Okay. Um, is what I was, that was my goal. Um, but in regards to that article, I mean, like I said, it hurt my heart when I first saw it. It's nothing new. It's not like it got me down where I was depressed or I saw some people on my news, um, news feed on Facebook mm -hmm. who were like, oh my gosh, why did they post this? Why did this man write this article? But if black women have been told, black people in general have been told all the time that we're inferior okay. and um, less attractive. Mm -hmm. I think what got it to me was that um, the Psychology Today was able to publish it as mm -hmm. based on some scientific figures. And this is not scientific at all. So this man's um, research has no bearings. How is this? I don't understand. Now I got how. a question for you, not to interrupt you, okay. sorry about that, but did you find it astounding that he never said how he came about these numbers? Right. He said he used statistics variances, I believe, in order to say that this is how he found his information. Well, we all know, even if you took basic level of statistics, mm -hmm. which you have to do in most schools now, variances, you still have to say how many uh, black uh, how many black men of a certain age did you right. ask? How many white men of a certain age? What type of what kind of women these men date? What type of habits right. they have? Where they live? He didn't mention any of that. All he said was this was this and this was this. Now what I found right. amazing about the article was that he said even though statistically black women are uglier, he said that black women think that they're better looking than everybody, than everybody else. Yeah. Now, do you think that that's true? Um. I do think that um, our African American community um, has led us to be very confident in ourselves. Um, you can see that through our culture, through our music. Okay. Um, we're just all about, you know, being confident, no matter if you're big, small, tall, short, whatever. Definitely. Black people have, you know, what we're calling now swag. So that's what they're calling it, and I definitely think that black people have a lot of it. Oh, definitely. Um, whether it's warranted or not, I don't know. Definitely. But um, like you said, the the article, the research was not statistically significant from my standpoint. Okay. Um, like I said, he didn't publish um, any of his constituents, the the pool of people that he polled or did his research on. Um, definitely. I think you need to take into account when you're thinking about the people that he did interview or research um, what their background was because the cultural standpoint plays a lot plays a big part into where people's mindsets are about what their um, ideal of beauty is and Definitely. without taking that to account just looking at straight numbers and he put two pictures up in front of him and said which one looked better 10 times 50 times in a row I don't know how he conducted his research if the media shows you blonde hair and blue eyed and says you're supposed to like it after, exactly. a, curtain, after a certain amount of years that's what you're gonna think is beautiful. Exactly. Personally, so. redheads do it for me, not blondes, but I'm just saying though. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen a black redhead, so I don't know. Um, I'm just saying, redheads, you know, they, that's that's the thing sometimes. That's I don't know, it's an oddity. Mm, okay. Redheads are that's oddities, cool. I'm good with that. I appreciate that. I appreciate the red hair though. Now, here's a question for you, and I really don't you find it amazing that he he said that article, but yet yet and still, if you go back into history. So many slave masters and so many men of prominent distinction have always liked black women, mm -hmm. have always been more so attractive. You know, I like, first of all, I like all women. Uh, you know, there's beautiful black yeah, women. That be known. Hey, I'm making it known because a lot of y'all be on hating like, oh, oh he gosh. only date white girls. I date everybody. I'm an equal opportunity. First. I'm an equal opportunity hater. I'm giving it up. I hate everybody. Okay. So okay. I got love for everybody. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just saying, the point I'm making is, don't you think it's kind of ironic that he says that? But then when you think about it, though, in, in essence, especially when you go back to the 90s, because you and I are not that far off in age, maybe a few years here and there, but in essence, ethnicity is like the hugest thing now. Everybody to be considered, like, a lot of the white girls are trying to act like they got ethnicity. A lot of them are trying to get that little bit of... Ethnicity? What's that? You know what I mean. A lot of them are trying to act like... A lot of ethnic? people are trying to act like they got a little bit more ethnic than just oh, pure okay. white. 
lot of them yeah, don't yeah, want to yeah. be the pure oh they i'm blonde hair blue eyed and i'm just from germany a lot of them are right, like right. a lot of them are like oh well i got a little cuban in me you know what i'm saying well at least not even claiming that they're white anymore they have to claim the actual country of origin when they probably don't even know what it is oh i'm irish or okay. i'm you know from england like okay you're still white and your your family has been here for hundreds of years so <laughs> to me i'm you know i don't really you know classify that but mm -hmm. i don't know um i just feel like if you're not taking into account um the people the subsets of people who are interested and the the historical brainwashing that we've done to people in America and clearly in Europe of what Definitely. beauty is, um, we're not going to get rid of the stigma that um, other cultures who are not of Anglo-Saxon descent are, you know, inferior or superior to everybody. That's, that's a real how, talk answer right how, there. That's, that's a real talk it. answer. <laughs> that's how I feel about that. That's a real talk answer. I appreciate it. Appreciate you taking the time. Once again, it's your man, Mr. Direct. Real conversation. Real people, real, real talk. talk.